hello it is me Rachel um, this video is going to be how to start um, to invest in crypto if you are a beginner um, so I'm going to do a full tutorial on how to get coinbase metamask and then how to trade in between the two um, and then how you can um, swap coins within metamask so you can get other coins that aren't within um, just like the normal exchanges so First, I'm going to uh, tell you the difference between an exchange and a wallet. Um, an exchange is a, an app like Coinbase or Crypto.com or Binance. Um, so you may have heard those names before. And exchanges, um, you're able to um, use them in a way that they have lots of coins that you can buy. Um, and you store them on that exchange. And then there's wallets, which is more personal to you. So you do have an account on an exchange, um, but account or um, but exchanges seem to be um, more dangerous in the sense that they can get hacked um, since they're bigger. Whereas with a wallet, you have something called a key phrase or a seed phrase, and that is specific to your wallet. And if like no one's going to be able to hack you um, unless you gave someone your password, <laughs> basically. Um, and a seed phrase, it can range anywhere from 10 words to 15 words, but it's auto-generated and no one else in the entire world will have the same seed phrase as you. And so that's why it's unique to your wallet. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to um, get onto an exchange um, because what you have to do is you do have to buy coins through an exchange and then send them to your wallet which can be quite the process. And that is why I'm teaching this today. So first let's start with Coinbase because Coinbase is our exchange that we are going to go with. Um, I will be switching in between my phone um, and plugging that in so you can see um, what I'm doing. So um, the first thing that you're going to want to do, let me plug in my phone real quick and we can look at it together. Okay, let me switch here. And there we go. All right, so you're going to go into the App Store. And in the App Store, you are going to type in Coinbase and click search. Okay, and then it's going to be this top one. Um, you can do either, the same one. But see where it says open on mine? You're going to um, click the get button. Um, so you want this one. A Coinbase does have its own wallet too, which is kind of cool, but we don't want to use that one. Um, we want to use MetaMask. So you uh, download this, and then while you're here in the App Store, also search MetaMask. Okay, and click search. And then it's going to be this one right here. So this MetaMask blockchain one with the fox. So also download that. Okay. And then we are going to switch back to me. Awesome. So once you download the Coinbase app, you are going to set up an account. And I thought what would be best, I can't sign up for another account because I already have my identity verified for mine, so I can't set up another one. Um, but what I have here is um, I found the guide on coinbase.com um, of how to get started. So I'm going to um, walk through the steps with you. And by doing that, I'll give a little insight on everything just because I've done this before and I have also helped so many different people set up their accounts too, that some things can be a little bit weird and also things have changed too over time. So yes, all right, so create your account. Um, number one, you're going to click or tap get started. Um, and then number two, you'll be asked to um, give the following information. So something that's important is that all of this information matches your ID card. So if you have a driver's license, you'll want it to match your driver's license. And I actually did see something up here that said, okay, so you need a government issued photo ID and they don't accept passports. So you need a driver's license or some other form of government issued ID. Okay. And then um, it's going to have you just, you know, it's set up like a normal account type thing. Uh, make sure that 
like you, you have a good password because you are going to be having money on this um, and trading money. So you want something that really won't be hacked. Um, so maybe use a password you haven't used before, but that that's an important thing in this scenario. Okay, and then you're going to read the user agreement and privacy policy and then uh, check the box and click create account or tap sign up. Also, something I forgot to add is you can do this on the app or you can do this on the website. I personally like it having mine on my app because I am continually looking at it on my phone. But if you're someone that typically looks at things on a computer, do that route. Okay, and then you have to verify your email that you put in. So also make sure it's an email that you feel secure that um, that's where all your mail is going to go. All right, so you verify the email. And then this says you'll need the smartphone and phone number associated with your Coinbase account in order to successfully complete two-step verification. So then you'll add your phone number and do that whole thing. It'll send you a code and then you add the code in. All right, and then number four, add your personal information. So you'll enter in the information shown on your um, government issued ID. And then you'll also have to answer the following questions. So they do ask in-depth questions because, you know, this is connected to your identity and they, they want to make sure you're a real person, um, which I'm really glad that they do this and that they're so in-depth with what they do because they verify that you are a real person. So um, if like a bot was trying to get on the website and make an account, it would have a really hard time doing that because it doesn't have all of these things. Um, and so it just, it adds protection for all of us if you add in this information and you also have to, to make the account. Okay. So you add in that information and then you have to verify your identity. So this is kind of what takes the longest part of it all is, so you sign into your account and then you complete the ID verification. This is what it used to be, and so I don't know if it's still that, but what they do is they have you write on a paper um, specific things, and then, actually, I guess we could open this, um, and then take a picture with your ID and the paper. <laughs> so either you have to self-timer it up or uh, have someone take a picture of you. Okay, I don't want to watch this right now. Um, you can click on this and watch it, but it will prompt you as you go through the steps of what to do. And then um, that can take a little while. So something with crypto and getting into it first like time around, it could take up to a week to be able to have your funds available. So if you're trying to get some into something super quick right now, like you might not be able to do that just because you have to have so many things verified that you're real. Um, so you will have to verify your identity. Sometimes it's um, instantaneous though. So that's something as well. All right, and then you link a payment. Um, and so I just have my checking account linked uh, through that. And it gives you a certain limit that you can spend a day. Um, it is very high to be honest and you probably will never end up hitting it. <laughs> I never have, um, even for a one day thing. Okay, so that is how you set up Coinbase. And by setting up Coinbase, that means you can then purchase coins in the exchange, which is wonderful. So let me switch back to my phone. And um, we will take a look at just a couple of things on Coinbase. Um, I won't give you a full tour. You can, I'm sure they have one that you can take. Okay, great. So um, I'm not going to go to the home tab or the assets tab at the moment, just because I currently have funds on here. Um, but I do want to show you how you would go in and buy a coin. So I know I have a little bit of USDT, the tether. So this one right here, oops. Um, and so I'm gonna go into there. All right, so as you can see up here, just right under the star, I have $2.41 of tether so uh there's a couple of things that you can do um you can go to trade and that's going to give you the option to buy sell 
or convert it to something else. So say we wanted to buy some, so we click buy. And then um, in here, you're able to go through and just put in your information. Um, I have done it before where I had um, a twice a month um, poll um, and I bought Bitcoin twice a month for several months, which was awesome. So you can also do that, just um, have that be a repeat. And then you go through the process. It'll have you do several things. Okay. Or um, what you can do is you click on this box, this box right here tap that and then this gives us several options um, we can click trade and that's also where we can do all those things but the most important thing is this little arrow right here that little send button is going to be your best friend so we're gonna click send and I currently only have two dollars and 41 cents so I honestly don't even have enough um, to s send with the fee, but I'm still going to try and go through this. So let's just say I want to send my $2 and 41 cents. So I click max, puts it in that click continue. Um, I don't have any friends that I want to send crypto to right now. So we're just going to say no. And then these are all of the addresses that I've sent to in like the last like three months. So, um, if we look right here on this one, um, the, f uh, ED21 address. That is my MetaMask address. So say I wanted to send this to my MetaMask, I'd click that. And then we can preview send. And see, it's saying that I need a minimum amount of USDT. Um, I don't have that, and that's okay. All right. Um, but you would continue through that process if you were going to send it. All right, let's switch back to me. Great. Okay. Um, so that is Coinbase. Um, do the tour of Coinbase when it comes up on your app because it is a great little tutorial on um, how to see like where your assets go on Coinbase. Um, but how you're going to send it is going through that um, trading that I just showed. Okay. So in the process of crypto, you have your exchange and that's where you're going to initially buy whatever coin it is so you're going to buy that ethereum um, and that's actually what i'm going to recommend at the end of this is to buy ethereum um, and i'll get more into why you would do that okay so let's move on to our next thing okay so you have the exchange we also have the wallet and i told you to download metamask so you have metamask downloaded and um this did not give step by step of what to do it's very straightforward though and so i'm going to walk you through it um i also do not want to make another account because it's just another thing to keep hold of um i did make another like um you can have multiple accounts on one password and so i made an another one for that um so i can show you that but um you will download the app it'll prompt you right um, and from logging in there, I think you set up a password and an email and everything, and then it gives you that seed phrase or key phrase that I just told you about. And what that is going to do is it just protects you. Um, and it should recommend to write it down like on a piece of paper. <laughs> um, one of my mom's uh, coworkers said, there's nothing like technology when it comes to paper. And so you need to get an actual physical piece of paper and write it down because you do not want anyone to ever be able to get this password from you. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, also, I I have multiple copies of all my seed phrases for all my accounts. I have them in multiple different places, in different safes, different places, in different houses. So honestly, like make lots of copies of what you are writing down because this is important. Like you're going to be able to make money from this and you don't want to lose it and you don't want it to be hacked, right? So write it down on a piece of paper. So you'll go through that and at a certain point you will be all logged in and I'm going to bring up what that will look like. And let me open my phone again. Okay, so you open the MetaMask wallet and you are going to be on a screen that looks like this. Um, so I don't have any money in this account. 
but if we go to the left, we can see there's all these different things um, that we can do. And um, we can um, look right here. See this, this address right here? Um, that is going to be the address. Ooh, that's going to be the address that you use when you're sending to MetaMask from Coinbase. So um, let's actually do this. Let's do this as an exercise. All right. Um, I'm going to show you another way how to do it as well because we kind of want to see our whole thing, right? So if you click on the zero ETH, which is zero Ethereum, it's going to bring up this page and we're going to click receive. Awesome. So it brings up a QR code as well as the address. Um, and what we want to remember about this address is the last four digits of it are 2D91. Every single time we send something to this address, we are going to want to just make sure that our address is typed in correctly. There are so many characters though that we're just going to verify it by the last four digits. All right, so we're going to click copy. And then we are going to go back out to Coinbase. Sweet. And we're back into that USDT. Um... And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that send button. So I, I want to start this process over again just to show you one more time. I go into this trade tab right down here, okay? I search whatever asset I'm looking for. Um, I do recommend Ethereum, but I'm going to show you USDT since I have some in that right now. Okay, so I click on that. And then there's this highlighted little box right here. You are going to tap on that. And then you can have the cute little send button. Click that. And then you're going to say how much you want to send. Um, I'm going to click max just because I really do not have that much in here right now. Um, but you do have to realize sometimes you have to go in and um, make the price a little bit less because there is a fee to send it to MetaMask. It's not free. So in total of what I'm going to show you, there's a possibility possibility that you could spend up to $50 in fees um, and we're going to talk about fees a little bit later too but you have that um, right here we're going to click continue not going to send it to any of my friends I just copied this address from that account and look we can verify it because it says 2d91 so I click that we paste it in and then we do a preview send Okay, and we see the same problem. I at least need 13 coins in there, and I don't. <laughs> um, but there we go. Um, and that's how you're going to send from um, Coinbase to MetaMask. All right, let's go back to me now. Oh, um, something else, actually. Let's go back to MetaMask super quick. Okay, so it will take, it can take up to five minutes um, to show up but you will want to continue to check um, on this wallet page right here to make sure your funds come in. So say I was able to send um, like one Ethereum, that it would say one Ethereum right here and then give the dollar value in US dollars right here and it would also reflect right here. So you just wanna make sure it comes in. You will know it comes in because the zero will change to the number that you sent. Um, yes, okay, so there's that. Let's go back to me. All right. So, we talked about Coinbase, we talked about MetaMask, um, and we'll go back to MetaMask actually in a second because I do wanna show you one other thing with that. Um, but let's talk about gas fees actually. So, Ethereum, everyone's heard of Ethereum, right? You've heard of Bitcoin, you've heard of Ethereum. Ethereum is not only a coin, ooh, um, but it's also a network. So, um, there's something called, some people call it GUI. I call it GUI, <laughs> so I'm probably wrong. Um, but it is the Ethereum gas fee. Uh, so, um, you can just search it, it's G-W-E-I. Um, I always just go to the one that has it in the, uh, in the title, just because I know kind of what the different ones mean. I'm not 100% positive, honestly, of what it's based off of. Like, how do we just get this number, right? Um, but I will tell you what is a good gas fee 
um, and what's not. And this is not dollars. This is just gui, gui, <laughs> um, as a number, and then it shows how much it is. So, like, right here. The average right now is 55 gui, and it's $3.86. And it can take about three minutes to get there, okay? Um, so, what that means, a really good gui score is, like, between 10 and 30. Like, it's going to be decently cheap to be able to um, trade within that range. Um, 50 is even kind of high, honestly, but there was a time where, like, 70 was low um, because the network just got so um, busy that it it was super, super high. But if you ever see it like in the 450 range or something, like it'll be like $70 to do one trade, which is not worth it. You can wait. It's worth it to wait to save that money. Um, look, and it's like right now it's at 38. So it, it goes up and down, but you do want to check what it is before you do a trade. Um, just because you just want to make sure that you're getting good price, right? Um, because that money is not going to go towards your coins. It's being taken away from your coins. So you don't want to pay in an outrageous amount, right? Um, so just something to keep in mind. And then I also wanted to show you uh, two different websites. This one's called coinmarketcap.com. And this one, um, you can just search any of the coins and see what they are. So let's see, let's search Ethereum. number two <laughs> um, and wonderful it's right here um, and so it just gives you all this information so if you're interested you can come look you can see what something's being sold at at the moment so it looks like ethereum's at three thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars and it's gone up 0.46 percent in the last day um, so you, you can like check the market and uh, change things and it's kind of fun sometimes um there's a lot of information though so it can kind of make it confusing and then another one um just if you kind of want to compare um different websites there's another website called coingecko.com and it does the exact same thing so like we can come into ethereum right here sweet and it gives us all this information as well great all right so Say you want to buy a coin and it's not on Coinbase. And this happens a lot. And so I'm gonna show you what you're going to do. So like I recommended earlier is you want to buy Ethereum. And the reason why you want to buy Ethereum is the gas fees come out of Ethereum. So instead of having to do all these transactions of buying certain coins and then also Ethereum, um, you just have Ethereum, you can trade it, and then it takes the gas fee from Ethereum um, in the MetaMask wallet. So it's advantageous to do it that way because doing it this way will save you money. It'll probably save you honestly $50. So that's why I'm telling you because it took me a little while to figure that one out. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to my phone and we are going to go to MetaMask. Awesome. Okay. So we're on the MetaMask wallet. Um, what we are going to do is, so say we have Ethereum there in our, um, in our wallet. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to the side and, um, right here, there's something called browser. Okay. So you're going to click browser. This is actually so useful. <laughs> All right, right now I'm on a Pulse X thing, um, and I'll make another video about that actually. But we're gonna go to Uniswap. Okay, and we, let's just go to the Uniswap interface. It'll bring us to the right place at some point. Okay, so Uniswap is going to be able to take your coins, and you're going to be able to select which token you want to um, switch it for. So HEX is one of those tokens that you can't buy on Coinbase. Um, so right here it shows, oh, as I click on the screen, right here it shows that it's our wallet. Um, it may ask you at one point um, to connect your wallet. If it does, connect it. Um, I may have already connected this one. 
um, but this top quadrant right here is what you have and then this bottom quadrant right here is what you want so if we had money in ethereum in this account right now it would show up here and it would show how much we have and then um, we come in here and we select which coins we want or which coin we want because we have to do uh, transaction by transaction so i want to buy hex okay um, and since we have zero Ethereum, we're going to get zero hex. <laughs> um, but say we wanted to sell 100 Ethereum, even though we have zero. Oh, that's a lot of Ethereum. <laughs> say we want to, okay. Say we want to sell like 0.5 Ethereum. We, this is going to be that transaction rate right here. So, um, right here, we can see that it would cost us $1,500 and we'd be getting 11,000 uh, hex coins. Um, let's go look at Gui because we always want to check that. See right here, let's see, it's $13 fee. And within the time, in the last 30 seconds, it went from 19 to $13. So that's a good price, honestly. Like, I have definitely paid $30 before because of a gas fee. So $13 for um, switching like this is not bad. Um, as you can tell, it says insufficient Ethereum funds, um, but if you did have the correct funds, it would be able to make that transaction, um, and it would have a pop-up. Something would pop up right here, and it makes you accept through your MetaMask wallet that you are making this transaction. So just make sure that you, um, you know, uh, it will tell you if you don't have uh, enough funds. And so yeah, so that's how you're going to switch it. And then um, it will tell you too that you do not have the hex token in your wallet. So another pop-up is going to pop up and it's going to say import hex. Make sure you click yes. All right, and look, the gas fee went up. So the gas fee is really teeter. Um, so it's just something good to look at. All right, and we are going to switch back to me. All right, I know that this was a super quick tutorial. Feel free to go through and pause as um, you need, just because it is super quick. But I hope that this was helpful. If you have questions, um, feel free to um, add them to the comments and I am always happy to answer them. I'm also happy to help you if you um, get stuck somewhere. And I will continue making videos of what you should buy. My last video was actually about how you should buy Hex right now. Um, and that's why I gave that as an example. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.